20 years old female and she has a CRPS or reflex sympathetic dystrophy and I am giving the sympathetic block from the posterior approach. Basically this block also blocks the cervical sorry this also blocks the brachial plexus sympathetic system as well as the cervical plexus. So this is the posterior approach to brachial plexus, posterior approach to deep cervical block or posterior approach to, to sympathetic, cervical sympathetic. So here I have marked the suprastral notch, sternocleidomastoid and this is the scanless anticus here, the scanless medius, this is the interscanning triangle. If I roll the tip of my finger, this I can feel the inferior value of homohyoid, this black line, double line indicate inferior value of homohyoid and posteriorly this is the this is the levator scapula here and here the trapezius so a triangle between the levator scapula and trapezius this is the entry point of the needle beta x will again from here insert the needle and just move deep to the levator scapula and move towards the interscalene triangle start injecting fluid after aspiration Aspirate, then inject and move towards this triangle. There should not be any resistance. Aspirate and inject. Aspirate, then inject. And you can notice the bulging here. So, there is, you can notice the puckering because I have taken one and a half inch long needle. But if, by doing this puckering, you can increase the depth of the needle. I am rotating, aspirating, injecting and go further, see aspirating, rotating, injecting to avoid the accidental intravascular injection. You can notice the bulging here. It means the needle is somewhere near the brachial seat. Now always keep watch on the pulse because the solution also contains little adrenaline and very dilute amount. Here I have taken 0.36% lidocaine and the solution is buffered so there should not be any burning sensation during injection. You can notice the amount of bulging here. So total volume I have injected is 20 ml. Now see. Now the block is complete. Now you, I am just removing this, so there it should be regurgitation. Now the regurgitation of fluid is very minimal. Just remove it and then massage this area and massage this area. The block is complete. Now this block, that's the posterior approach. With this block, we can block the brachial plexus. We can also block the the ischial half of the cervical area half of the neck from anterior to posterior this will also block the shoulder so you can perform surgery on the right side on the ipsilateral side of the neck on the shoulder on the clavicle whole of the upper limb this will also block the sympathetic so you can notice the lot of vascularization i have taken 0.36 percent lidocaine this is just more of a sensory rather than a motor block more of a sensory and this time i will ask the patient to do exercise on the right hands uh, uh, and the effect will last more than more than five to seven hours and the sympathetic part remains more than 72 hours हाथ पे क्या भारी क्या है हाथ पे क्या लग रहा है हाथ पे भारी पल है धनराट को नहीं हो रही हाथ पे धनराट को लियो हो रही है अच्छा इसको कंधे में ये भी भारी है इसको छोड़ दे और ये देखो तो ये वाला और ये वर्दन में क्या फर्क है दोनों में ये भारी लग रहा है ये नहीं लग रहा और ये तुम्हारा ये हसली जो है हड्डी है ये वाली हाँ सी सेज दैट ही सीज अनेबल टू पिन चिविंग बिकॉज़ दिस बिकम्स ऑल दो आई हैव यूज्ड 0.36 परसेंट लिडो कैन विथ एडलिंग दिस इज वेरी डाइल्यूट एंड इवन इवन सी लॉस्ट वर मोर देन 50 परसेंट पावर बिकॉज़ दिस डाइल्यूशन इज गुड फॉर सेंसरी ब्लॉक एंड सिंथेटिक ब्लॉक so she says that whole of the upper limb including shoulder whole of the wrist is also numb if i compare ye vidhi kaisa hai ye vidhi kaisa hai dono par ke ha ye bhari hai ye bhari hai as i already told you the ipsilateral half of the neck from anterior to posterior the intraglottic area the whole of the shoulder and this this becomes numb 
heavy and you can perform any surgery from here, clavicle, shoulder and upper limb. This is also applicable block in some of the patients in the burn contracture of the neck. When the landmarks are not visible for the brachial block, you can go from the posterior aspect to block the brachial plexus. So she is the same patient. Uh, in this patient, I have given uh, the block from the back posterior approach and uh, following this block, I have used 0.36% lidocaine and following even this direction, patient uh, has a, is, is motor paralysis, about 80%. Sensory, motor and motor is 80% paralysis. Which is, you have a hand? No, she can't elevate the hand. Even the 0.36% lidocaine uh, it produces the uh, very strong motor and sensory paralysis. Now, finger chalavita. Now, previously she was not able to flex her MP joints. Now he can, she can make a fist. Open karo chalavite. Now, with this block, I ask him to do it, do exercise post block, and she is doing. And within three hours, two, I think it is hardly two hours, she is able to make the fist. And this extremity is quite warm as compared to this.